Hello, and welcome to Crafting with Orange County Public Libraries. Today, we're going to be learning how to make a nautical knot headband. These are the supplies you'll need. Four yards of cord or thin rope cut into four one yard pieces. A small piece of cotton fabric or one inch twill tape, a ponytail holder, needle and thread, or you can use fabric glue, and a pair of scissors. Okay, so to tie the knot, you're going to take one piece of your cord and loop, make a loop so it looks kind of like a little fish. Next, you're going to take a second piece of rope and loop it just so. So it's gonna go over the bottom fin of your fish, under the top fin, over and over the head of the fish. Okay, so for the next part, you're gonna take the other end of the cord that hasn't been woven in yet, you're gonna weave it under the bottom of the head, over the woven cord you've already done, and then under the top of the head. And then you're gonna pull it all tight. You're now gonna use the second two pieces of cord and just follow along the first and second. So your third piece of cord is gonna go around what one cord and the fourth piece of cord is gonna go around the other one. So you're basically forming the same knot. You're just doubling it up. So the next part is going to be cutting. So you're going to cut about sev seven inches down from the knot on one side. And on the other side of the knot, you're gonna cut down about 12 inches because the knot on the headband is going to wanna sit to the, to the side of your head. like so. For step three, you're going to sew or glue the ends of one side together. Then you're going to sew a small piece of the fabric it should be about one inch by two inch piece to the same side that, that you just sewed down about one inch up from the edge. Now, fold the fabric over, turn your headband around so that you see the cords again, put in your ponytail holder and then wrap the fabric all the way around the ponytail holder and the cords and then you're gonna sew or glue around the edges okay now you're going to do it on the same thing on the other side sewing your cords together sewing down the piece of fabric and looping it around the ponytail holder so what you end up with a continuous loop before you finalize your headband, you'll want to wrap it around your head or the person that you're making it for to make sure that it's not too big. If it is, you can always cut it down a little bit more before you do your final sew around. And once everything is sewn and glued, there you have it. You have a nice, pretty headband that you can wear or give as a gift. Enjoy! Enjoy!